What's up everybody? Welcome to today's video. I'm Chad with Charleston Car Videos at Southern Motor Company. And you got it, right back here behind me is the 2012 Lexus IS250C convertible. Stay with us, let's hop in, take it for a test drive, see what it's all about here today at Southern Motor Company. All right, everybody, what an absolutely gorgeous day we have today. It's the first day of May, 2021, it's a Saturday. And we're taking a look at, you got it, the Lexus IS250C. Yes, indeed, it is a two-door convertible. A lot of folks probably didn't even realize that Lexus had an IS250 two-door convertible, but yes, now you actually are seeing it with your eyes. A little bit rare of a vehicle. Again, there's just not a ton of these out on the roads driving around, so your opportunity to get one is well, it's basically, it's sitting right here in front of you, right? So anyways, I'm going to walk through it real quick, let you see the actual condition of the car, because I know a lot of y'all that watch my videos here on YouTube are probably actually shopping for something like this, right? Maybe you've been on Google or AutoTrader, Cars.com, CarGuru, wherever you're at, you're searching for them. Maybe then you went over to YouTube, you're watching some videos about them, and you clicked on this one because you saw that beautiful IS250, and you're like, whoa, this video was made like right now in 2021 yeah in may and i'm like yeah i'm liking it i'm maybe this one's for sale right if they're filming it at a car lot it's got to be for sale and you probably are also saying to yourself well maybe you live up north and you're like i don't want to buy a car up north because i'm curious I'm, I'm you know i'm concerned about the salt on the roads and if the car's got rust this that and the other and there's another great thing it's down in a coastal area down in south carolina and charleston so i don't have to worry about rust well, there you have it, right? I mean, so you're gonna be able to get a pristine car. Also, mileage isn't too high, price isn't too high. I mean, it's just gonna be an overall pretty great pre-owned vehicle for you to buy. Now, anyways, color. You gotta be a Carolina Gamecocks fan to like this one. Or Crimson, right? Yes, I'm not Clemson, Crimson Tide. Anyways, um, I love the little Lexus badge there. Tail lights look good. It does got a few little imperfections like you'll see on the back, back here, you know, some tree sap or something may have got on it at some time or another you know so it's got some very fine little scratches here or there on it you know but it doesn't have a lot of dings or dents it doesn't have any dents on it um interior let's take a look at it interior is really clean you got the gray or back i think they used to call this like a taupe interior it's also got the heated and cooled seats navigation touchscreen start stop engine button got the paddle shifters there mileage 137 also it's a hard top convertible okay that's also really nice so in the summertime when it's super hot you can put the top up and really keep the car cooled down quite nicely and uh, you know again it's a hard top so it also will be quieter inside the car with the top up so you got really the best of both worlds there two-door convertible hard top I'm liking it all right guys let's go ahead and hop in take her for a drive see what she feels like that's what we're doing let's do it power seats I'm seeing power windows all that all right let's hop in all right let's get the wide angle view going on all right ac is blowing nice and cold it does have a smart key i'm loving how it's wrapped in a carbon fiber cover if you can see that pretty cool so you got that going on your cup holder right here is just big enough to get a gatorade bottle in okay so it's not the biggest of cup holders Maybe a little bottle or soda can or something like that. I also like the cooled seats, which feel great right now, which is a great feature to have on a convertible. You know, you're going to the beaches, that kind of thing. You know how hot it can be. Your wife, girlfriend, yourself maybe has a skirt on. You know, you don't have to necessarily put a towel on the seat if you let the car cool off for a minute because those cooled seats will keep your pretty little legs all cool. Or you guys out there that wear your little short shorts, you don't have to scorch the backside of your little leg when you're coming in from the beach you know i wear board shorts myself they're a little bit longer but again there is those fellas out there that rock board, or the little short shorts when they almost like a jogging short back from the 80s all right so if you got long legs like myself you got plenty of leg room in here but i'm actually going to bring the seat up a little bit more good there you got these big old paddle shifters down shifting up shifting right very nice all right here we go y'all ready here we go actually i'm gonna cut the air down a little bit how do we do that? Hit climb it and just drop it down so you can hear the motor. Boom, we're in drive. If you're going to use paddle shifters, you put it in sport mode just like that. 
but we're going to leave it in just regular drive. We're going to drive it around the block, see how she feels. One thing is for sure, it's uh, front wheel drive. And I do remember uh, driving IS250 sedans in the past. And I used to think to myself, man, what a fun, small sedan to drive. You know, the IS250 just got plenty of power and uh, kind of sporty looking, right? And then here comes this two-door convertible. Wow, we, we got one. All right. Let's go ahead and zip. Well, hold on. Traffic. Yeah, figure out what you're doing, Mr. Audi. You know, what are you doing? You're about to cause a car accident out here today. All right. Let's go ahead and zip her down the road. Very quiet. If I wasn't talking, it'd be quieter. Brakes feel smooth. I like that. I mean, just a perfect car to have in your garage waiting for that nice summer sunny day like today. Let's see how the turn and radius and all that stuff is on this little booger. Luxury convertible. Oh, I like it. Easy to drive. Steering feels good. Oh, there's that premium Alexis Toyota engine just doing what it should do. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm liking it. Let's do that again. Three, two, and one. Let's hit these brakes. Oh, yeah. Nice. Acceleration is good. Braking is good. All good stuff there. Actually, a pretty enjoyable car to drive, especially for a convertible. I'm liking it. And it's different. Let's pull her into the Batmobile place or the, the little hiding spot. You know what we do if you're a regular subscriber. We take pictures in this area. So let me get a couple exterior shots and interior shots. We'll drive her back down to the street, uh, back, back down to the store. All right, everybody. We're at our spot taking a look at the exterior. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look under the hood here. There's that beautiful luscious v6 motor that lexus put in here man oh man doesn't it just take up a lot of space under the hood of this car just as it should right so there it is i mean honestly there's not really a whole lot to look at because there's just so much plastic under here but that's okay what you can see is that it's clean under here which is important okay hoses look good battery looks pretty good I think you're gonna be just fine all right always visit our website at southernmotorcosc.com then you can actually uh, look at Carfax reports and all that kind of stuff I also like that it's got the daytime running lights down there the LEDs which look good very clean I like the color I like the continental tires the alloy wheels, the five stars, not too bad. Mr. Chris put a just a clean one-stripe pinstripe going down the side. Kind of set things off a little bit. Also, the convertible top, everything works as it should. Here's the space you have in the back when the convertible top is back. Okay, that's what you got. Just enough room to get a few bags of groceries in here. That's about it. And I think most of y'all can understand, if this is what you're buying... This is the kind of room you have. If you want to go to the beach and all, but if you're just two people, you can throw a little bit of stuff back here, some bags or whatnot. But if there's just two of you, you do have all this space back here to throw more, you know, beach chairs and umbrella can kind of hang out and that kind of thing, right? So there is some room back here to do that kind of stuff. Um, but as far as, you know, um, getting four people in, heading to the beach with all your gear, not going to be probably the best situation now if you do want to take your car to the beach and you're not really so concerned about having the top down well then that's a different story you got more room back here and we'll show you that in just a second okay that's what i'm here for to do today is show you a pre-owned is 250 convertible with 137,000 miles on it that you might actually be interested in buying just a itty bitty tiny little gas door i mean look at it it's kind of cute that little door all right so 
let's go ahead and put the top up and see what we got going on, right? All right. So on this car, where, where are the buttons for the top? They're right here. And all we're gonna do is hit up for close, or actually click up. And there it goes. We'll leave the camera rolling. It really doesn't take too long to do this. Less than 60 seconds. Kapowi, it's up. It's still doing a little bit of stuff back there. Okay, there you go. Keep holding it up. Keep holding it. There you go. Look at that. Now your windows are up. And listen to how quiet it is inside the cabin now. That, to me, is the benefit of having a convertible hardtop is being able to have, still have a hardtop vehicle where it's quiet and it holds the AC in. And again, it's just not as noisy as a soft top. Anyway, soft top cars have definitely gotten better over the years and not as loud as they used to be. Um, let's see here. Where's that little button right there? Let me show you the space in the back of the trunk now that the top is up. Okay. It does take a little bit of strength to put that up, but your average American can do it. All right, so that's the space you have in the back with the uh, top up. Actually, a lot of space back here when the top's up. You can take this thing right here and kind of move it and put it down, which you can do. So, um, but yeah, once this thing is folded down, you got all that space right there to store all kinds of goodies and things like that in the back of the IS250 convertible, okay? All right, let's go ahead and close her down and head on back down to the store. Hope you're enjoying the review today. I really do. All right, put my seatbelt on. This is what we call a POV video. You're kind of looking at it from my perspective, All right? Point of view is what POV stands for. All right. There we go. Um, does come equipped with, you got it, the backup camera right there. Still works just fine. And then that mirror drops. You know why the mirrors drop, folks? If you ever wondered, like, why is it when I put it in reverse, my mirror drops, right? It drops so you can see the curb down there. If you're parallel parking, things like that. That's what that's there to do. I know it seems a bit annoying at times when you're backing up because you may not be parallel parking. But just look in that mirror, uh, the camera view. All right, doing okay. And uh, the car also now has been running for a good 20 minutes and uh, we don't have anything overheating, nothing going on like that. Nice and quiet. So anyways, guys and girls, if you're watching the video, maybe you know the price, you know, it's around 14.9, I believe. And, um, Get in contact with us. I'm Chad. I'd love to sell it to you at $14.9 and uh, make you a fantastic deal. And if that's the case, come on down and see your friend Chad at Southern Motor Company. Been in the car biz since 01. I'm here to help you. And uh, if you live out of state, don't stress it. We don't mind putting it on a transport truck and have it shipped right to your doorstep. Um, we do that quite often. And that's another reason why I make these fun little car reviews for people to be able to see the cars before they buy them without even having to come to the store so anyways you'd be surprised if you live in a state that's surrounding south carolina it is really not too much to send one to you all right guys thanks for watching have a great day i really do look forward to earning your business and i do look forward for you to subscribe to my channel here on youtube if you're not in the market to buy a car, you're just watching a car video because you just enjoy watching the videos or enjoy listening to me talk about cars, I do appreciate that. As always, hit the like button to help support the channel and subscribe. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you soon. God bless America. I hope you find what you're looking for.